Hey guys, welcome to exercise 9-3. In this exercise, we're going to learn how to load and place light fixtures into your reflective ceiling plants that we did in exercise 9-2. So how we're going to go ahead and get started is we're going to be under the project browser, ceiling plants, and we're going to open up the second floor ceiling plants. Next, you're going to go under architectural tab, build panel, components, and place a component. You're going to load family. You're going to specify a lighting fixture. We're going to go ahead and specify a lighting fixture. So select lighting, architectural, and I'm going to go ahead and say internal. So internal and external means internal lighting means interior lighting, exterior lighting means exterior lighting. So we're going to pick a troffer lamp, a parabolic lamp, select open, and once you're here, you can go ahead and place your light like so. Now, once you have your lights placed, you can type in AL command, which is the align command, and you can select the grid of the actual ceiling and use that to align your lighting fixture into the grid. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and manipulate my grid to where I have at least a distribution of four lighting fixtures into this grid. What I did was I simply slid the grid over so I can take the lighting fixture and place it here. Once you have all four lighting fixtures copied, we're gonna go ahead and switch to the basement ceiling plant. You're gonna go under your project browser and select basement. Here, when we bring in the lighting fixtures, we're gonna go under the architectural tab build panel, components, and under components, now since we have already loaded in our troffer lights, we're gonna be able to bring in our two by four troffer lights simply from our properties bar. Next, I want you to look at the fact that the lights themselves do not properly align with the ceiling grids. We're simply going to select the light and move it such that by using MV, we're gonna use the endpoint and align it to the grid. Once we have that done, we're gonna type in the command RO to rotate, and we can select the point of rotation and move it to this particular endpoint. Thereby, whenever we're rotating this light, we're rotating it in reference to the grid. And now, the light itself aligns to the grid. You will be able to copy this lighting fixture and spread it across the entire ceiling plane. I do want to point out that as an architect, you should align your grids properly such that you have an even distribution of lighting. Like right now, according to the book, we have a more dense lighting condition here, but you could distribute it in a way where the lighting distribution is even, and this will be based on your foot candles and lumen and the amount of light that you need in that particular room. This can be varied by going under properties and of course picking different voltage of lighting and this will also be specified by your electrical engineer because he's the one who's going to be wiring these lighting and your lighting consultant lastly what i want to cover on this particular exercise is under the architectural tab you can go under the build panel components and we're going to load family this time we're going to select instead of an internal light we're going to go under we're going to go under mechanical, architectural, air side components, and you want air terminals. You're able to get square returns as well as um, square supply diffusers. You can place them into your project. This is, this is primarily used for a commercial application. So at, in this residential circumstance, we would not need these diffusers. With that said, that concludes exercise 9-3. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Follow for more content.